It has been nearly half a year since venues were able to hold a live event. Many theaters and concert halls were the first ones to close amid the pandemic and likely won't be open, will be the last to reopen, I should say. Fox 6 is Bill Miston with why venues large and small in Milwaukee need help if there's hope of reopening again. It's been a long time since the lights lit the Paps Theater stage and hundreds filled one of Milwaukee's performance venue gems. Arts across the board have taken a massive hit, shuttering ticket windows, neighborhood clubs, and theater troops. We were the first to close and we'll be the last ones to open. For Paps Theater Group CEO Gary Witt, when is anybody's guess? We'll very likely be deeper into 2021 when we come back for business. While federal support helped early on, Witt says independent venues from the Paps to Bayview's Cactus Club need help paying the bills. The solution lies in, in industries like ours doing whatever we possibly can do to survive. But short-term workarounds like small private events can only go so far, which is why Witt, whose group and thousands of other independent venues, large and small across the U.S., are urging Congress to save our stages. It would be uh, a real hit to Wisconsin's economy, but also the arts, frankly, if these uh, venues like we have all over the state uh, close permanently. In an interview That's with the Door County America Daily America. News, Wisconsin Senator That's Tammy Baldwin America. saying the Bipartisan SOS Act, which has a related bill with bipartisan support in the House, would offer grants to cover costs like payroll, bills, and PPE. It's not just about saving the Paps Theater Group or saving the Rave or saving Cactus Club or Shank Hall. It's really about saving the city of Milwaukee. Because, as the way Witt sees it, the soul and identity of every city is the experiences people have. And if the lights go down for good, there won't be much of an experience left. Two bills in the House and the Senate, the Restaurants Act, would, if passed, work in a similar way as the SOS Act, providing grants to help restaurants cover their costs. Now, both the Restaurants Act as well as the SOS Act remain at the committee level. In Milwaukee, Bill Miston, Fox 6 News.